into your life that you don't have it starts from relationship this irresponsibility has traces you can see it as a man don't keep quiet in a relationship every time there is a cost dimension even if you don't provide it be sympathetic to it are we together you want to pay school fees and your wife pays don't say oh well thank you no my wife thank you so much you have helped me do this i'm proud of you i truly appreciate me tell my wife this no way i won't do anything then you continue how many women leave their roles to house helps who win the hearts of their husband and they keep binding and casting because they are out gossiping with people who talking about people um um what's her name please make sure you know my husband doesn't like too much but just do this if you are busy it's justifiable but most of them is out of laziness and then the lady is preparing and the man is watching a virtuous lady she comes to serve him and the devil starts suggesting saying what was really your plan for a wife and at the end of it when those women come for counseling they won't tell you the whole story they will cut the part that makes the man evil are we together you must be willing to play your role you must be i can't come to a house and see children running up and down mucus on their nose they are clothes with oil and the wife is just crossing her legs no ma you are failing in your role just because the man helped to dress the children is not his role the design of a woman is a reflection of her role visitors cannot come and sit down and then the wife is just sitting and then the man goes to the fridge he's trying to quickly prepare something and then we find my husband that's how he is no that's not how he is that's how you made him god made him to occupy a position of honor is god speaking to us yes i must pray for you it's a responsibility i must attend to you as much as possible it's a responsibility i must sow into your life not waiting for you to carry money and come and give me no sir brother is that what you are doing in your relationship is that what you are doing in your marriage sister is that what you are doing let's correct these things tonight if you are not yet in a relationship thank god if you are not yet married thank god because now you are learning you are learning how many women are carrying the book you see a child sick children sick three children sick and you see the woman holding a hot air umbrella in the afternoon backing one and holding two with the umbrella just singing praise and worship and going and then the husband is somewhere and you will find that man in a pepper soup joint somewhere you see that or donating money to one man of god it doesn't matter even if it's me it's a sin you take care of your family first don't carry any money and come and give any man of god and leave your family dying god does not act like that are we together and you are wondering where is this woman's husband child is coughing the other one is purging the baby is crying you see her tapping the baby standing in the hot sun and sometimes the husband can pass with a car and just wait later 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 no sir no sir no sir your father advised you that that's what he did to your mother to respect him but that's not the word of god we've been called out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation is god speaking to us don't expect to change if you are not taught it is the entrance of the word that gives light otherwise your default mindset even if you hated it is what you will see playing out i watch the way brothers treat ladies and i know they are on their way to being bad gentlemen now i know that ladies have their issues here and there but let me tell you it is still not enough reason please marriage is not by force it's not the condition for heaven if you must marry be willing to play a role it is true that the woman should respect you regardless of results but results is like a lubricant to honor and submission it is difficult for a woman to struggle to submit to a man who has proven himself to be worthy of honor
he said let them that rule well be counted for double honor is God speaking to us I'm going to stop here in that area we are still going to talk on expectations very quickly but listen if you are in a relationship or you are looking at a lady prayerfully or you are looking at a guy prayerfully it doesn't matter what category or you are married go back home tonight and ask yourself if you want to get into business partnerships what is your role do you understand i'm coming into this business as what please if you are a ceo here or you have a business you are leading a business go back and find out all the people involved in that business what is their role let there be clarity if there is one boy running around your house one girl running around your house let them know are they protégés or are they sons and daughters maybe spiritually or by reason of commitment don't leave vagueness in your house who enters your room and who doesn't who should enter your bedroom and who shouldn't who should open your wardrobe and who shouldn't if you don't define it one day something will happen that will surprise you you see homes there are times a man and his wife can sit down they are discussing very private issues and the next thing their mother or mother-in-law somebody just bangs the door and then oh you who are discussing bar sorry uh, there's no no it's the fault of the man create a system of order everybody that comes under my roof should know their boundaries and their limitations are we together yes nobody should come to your house with your wife there and just enter your kitchen and start cooking no sir if your wife authorizes her or on grounds of friendship that's fine people cannot veto into your life like that a man who does not have control over his spirit is like a city without walls put walls there are walls in heaven there's no enemy there yet there are gates to regulate and bring order 12 gates hallelujah i live a peaceful life as a man of god because there is clarity i don't have to come here in the daytime to check have they put the chairs no the people have been trained to keep their roles here and there people forget their roles or don't meet up to expectations then you can lovingly call people to order you don't blame everybody for one person's mistake when there is clarity of roles if there is no food in the house you know who to blame transfer of aggression is proof of lack of wisdom there has to be somebody if it is systemic you can pinpoint who should do this you don't blame your wife for something children should do children are running around there and you finish eating and your wife does not carry the plate and you have a young lady 13 years she catwalks and pass you there you call her back and say no pick that plate you are going to become someone's wife yeah, daddy i don't like this this is the kind of thing I, that's how i wash in that film tell her keep quiet keep quiet fast this is my house i love you i've been responsible i don't mean to abuse you but it is not under my watch if i train you and you get to the age of discretion and you mismanage your life i can stand before god and men and say that is my daughter i train her her life is not a reflection of my convictions you remain my daughter but you you reap the consequence of your actions but not when you are under your watch don't let anything under your watch in business and in life go out without definition expectations number three let's talk about this and we pray is god helping us tonight acts chapter 3 and verse 3 to 5 quickly every relationship has expectations marriage business career church mentor mentee father son daughter husband wife whatever kind every relationship has expectations acts chapter 3 please the bible speaking about the man at gate beautiful he kept seeing peter and john the bible says that he saw them every time and then one time when he saw them they looked like they were rich they created an impression that cultivated expectation and then the bible says who seeing peter and john were they the only two that went to the temple no there was something he had been observing in them that was his place of stay and the bible says he asked them for arms verse 4 and peter fastening his eyes 
implicated himself by saying look on us if he kept quiet that man who said talk you are passing the rest he kept begging and the rest just did like this but peter stopped are we together now yes many people don't want children but you stopped you said i want you are implicating yourself many people don't want marriage you stopped you looked at a lady and said i want to spend my life with you every time you make a proposal and a commitment you are creating expectation he says look on us verse 5 the last verse now he says and he gave heed to them expecting to do what please talk to me expecting to your wife expecting something from you your husband expecting from you god expecting from you you expecting from god everything relational has expectations frustration in relationships are products of disappointed expectations now many people are not vocal enough about their expectations for most couples it is hidden they are not vocal to state it out which in my opinion is very dangerous there must be clarity of not only motifs roles but expectations expectations of behavior hello look up please expectations of contribution if you get a job with a bank they tell you what to expect and then they tell you what they are expecting from you is that true yes you can see the way the worship team is dressed wonderful lovely people by subscribing to this department there are expectations you have expectations but then there are also expectations there are demands and it must be clear imagine if they didn't plan what to wear there are times that i believe you can freestyle everybody just wears whatever at that time you don't blame anybody for wearing what we can't all agree to wear suit and then you just come in with your jeans and say look there's liberty in the house of god no there's expectations there are there are times in the bank where they say today we are wearing the vests if you are in that bank and you are walking you it's not whether you like it or not it's the sacrifice for relationships please i want you to note this all relationships should have clearly defined expectations especially love relationships expectations of behavior and expectations of contribution what do i expect you to bring to the table as my wife what do i expect you to bring to the table as my husband i just entered a relationship with you congratulations what do i expect you to bring what is the expectation of behavior from me to you what is expectation of behavior from you to me listen don't say it does not matter there is expectation of behavior when a woman gets married her husband expects certain behaviors the man too should there, there is a way you must behave there is a way you talk there is a way you reason when god makes you a leader and anoints you there is expectation expectation when trouble happens in let's say a company you see maybe a, a staff and a customer are fighting they are all fighting when a manager or a director comes out he doesn't act like the person who just got a job don't insult me or just because we live on the same street i will remove this suit and beat the living daylight out of you and while he's talking a director comes out his attention is called he has been trained to create an expected behavior that reflects the values of the bank and he comes out and says, okay calm down what's wrong and he said your staff he, every time i talk to him he counts money and there's you people are all tricks in this bank he says all right we apologize and he's paining the staff the staff is saying this guy he says no it's all right just go up and wait for me he doesn't even rebuke him and then he tells the man i'm sorry for doing this we're giving you two thousand naira extra and god said tell that your foolish man that i'm a valued staff and walks out you will think the director was cheap for doing that it's called expected behavior he now goes out and shuts the door and then blasts the hell out of his staff. And then when he finishes, 
they come out as if they were drinking tea together because there is expected behavior does your home have an expected behavior that's why men don't know who to beat in public or secret no expectation they just beat the wife quarrel the wife there are things your wife does not expect from you there are things she expects from you if you do not fulfill the expectations the parties will be frustrated are we together a woman cannot marry and still want her single life again something you, you must have given up something a man cannot marry and still want his single life again you are you used to stay out late 10 30 in the night for no reason now you are married and you say please that's how my life is there is expectation of behavior hallelujah you won't come and see me stand here i'm not saying it's bad you won't come and see me stand here flying chains and wearing all kinds of rings in my hand they may not be wrong in themselves but leadership demands expectation of behavior are we together i can't come and stand here with clothes not iron as simple as that if i were not in my position it would not matter but the position demands an expectation is god speaking to us every business every career and every love relationship must have a system of providing clarity of expectation now let me say something very quickly look up please i wrote something down here never try this is particularly for love relationships never try to change a spouse's personality there is a difference between personality and mindsets the only thing that can change is mindset personalities do not change easily most marriages and relationships are, are a circle of frustration because the man brings any lady and wants to force and mold that lady to reflect his idea and there are certain things that are ideological in nature but there are certain things that are personalities you will be blessed listen carefully a personality write this down the word personality means the psychological classification of different types of individuals please learn this personality talks of the psychological classification of different kinds of people personality talks about an individual's make up an individual's inherent identity an individual's makeup an individual's inherent identity not mindset personality is not mindset an example of personality types now we're not doing all the standard the psychometry and all of this but i just want to give you an idea look up please because this is an area of great healing for many of us listen we have people who are quiet and reserved it's a personality we have people who are logical and inquisitive it's a personality we have people who are vocal and idealistic they are very outspoken we have people who are adaptable and agreeable they can marry anybody it doesn't matter if they marry pastors they can be a pastor's wife they marry a farmer they can be a farmer's wife they can adjust and adopt there are men like that you make them ceos they will do well you make them you tell them to learn guitar they can they are adaptable and agreeable there are people who that's see let me tell you this most relationship experts most of them were fortunate to come into lives with people whose personalities resonate and then they take for granted the ease with which their marriage is working and keep writing all kinds of books and making it look like if you are not getting that ease something is wrong it's a lie i don't have experience to speak over marriage but i can tell you from the word of god and from people whose lives have been models that any marriage is hard work is that true so away with there are people who are fortunate they were able to resonate with individuals whose personalities are in tandem so whether or not with minimal effort there is compatibility 
so they they carry their relationship and their marriage as a template and write books about it and mentor people marriage is like the signs on the palm of someone's hand you can only be guided but you are the one who walks your marriage out with fear and trembling is god speaking to us mm. there are people who are people oriented and fun loving you will mistaken them for being less as fair but they are not even when they say someone has died they can say eh, eh, and in two minutes they are laughing at something else and you are saying i, I expect you to be crying you say, well, i used to have a friend like that very interesting friend even when he was sick he said he had malaria and he was still laughing on a call i said this, this guy will you ever frown now you will see those people and be deceived that they are always joyful no don't let their personality betray you you will be with them for 10 years laughing every day and they'll tell you i've never been happy in this marriage from day one you say i can't believe this you look at the portrait in the parlor that's you laughing he said no it's my personality i have never really been happy there are people who are strong-willed and authoritative men and women alike strong-willed you have to give them a thousand reasons to bend to the slightest adjustment Ah, may that be not be your wife or oh, may that not be your wife <laughs> strong willed and authoritative there are people who are argumentative and controversial you ask them what is one plus one I say it depends on the base base what <laughs> a simple answer that you can give they, they like it they like being controversial are we together yes you ask a very simple question they escalate little things i saw the way you smiled at that guy and you know in psychology there's something called eye contact they, they create stories out of nothing i'm sorry i did this to you why did you leave it till now I mean, they, 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 no, no, there has to be a logic in this. I mean, you had a chance to say it in the morning, in the afternoon. You are saying it by night. It's a sign of argumentative. Now, they may not be bad. It's a personality. Most people are not guided. It's when they get married, they find out through experience that this is who and what I've married. Are we together? What is a mindset a mindset is a viewpoint a perspective an established set of attitude it's usually a product of orientation i wrote here that is created by information the difference between a personality and a mindset is that a personality is inherent it doesn't mean it cannot be adjusted it can be adjusted by the power of the holy spirit but it is inherent a mindset is a philosophy you got as a result of an orientation that an information gave you now let me tell you this no matter how um please come come two of you let's assume that doctor is very quiet are we together let's assume that he's a very quiet person let's assume that david dam is very very um very vocal now two of them are filled with the holy spirit and all of that but the truth of the matter is that the wife comes and says me i like quiet men then you came to this guy you are going to frustrate him by saying don't talk the personality will keep betraying you again and again okay keep quiet and he keeps quiet after five minutes sorry that, that thing i want to keep quiet now and then at the end he said you are frustrating me this is what happens in many marriages the couples are on a mission to change supposedly you can't change any man you can only change mindsets and trust the holy spirit create a system of understanding to manage personalities otherwise don't go there fortunate for you if you can discern before but if you didn't then you must create a system of accommodation there are women who are mouthy it's not it's not um it can be used wrongly but it doesn't mean they are bad they are just very vocal they say a woman talks four thousand words in a day while a man talks one thousand five so if a noisy woman talks 500 in a day that balance is coming one day prepare for it because it should be 4,000 <laughs> it's like a check that will soon cash are we together 
you already know that your wife for instance is not somebody who is very quiet and you have a business meeting find a diplomatic way of making her excuse the meeting because her personality is going to disrupt the meeting and you will hate your wife the bible says dwell with them according to knowledge same thing in relationships there are men who like fighting for rights a bike man throws you and then the person you are going out with just comes i say are you joking i have my friend who is a lawyer let's carry this i said no 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 let it be no way me abba i can't i can't except i'm not the one in this relationship you think it's a joke three days later you see one lawyer guy with a paper looking for a bike man say you kill my woman you are somebody who is generally agreeable i don't like trouble so don't tell the man the story of the bike man are you seeing that now since you forgave let it be there are all these advocates fighters of justice that's a mandela kind of personality if listen listen learn this we are going to pray are we together when you discern the personality then you create a system around it you can change mindsets not personalities don't go there if the personality by default does not resonate with what you can take unfortunately most people are not mentored to this degree so they make a lot of costly mistakes you're a quiet person and then a woman is noisy and you see her and say is it that you you are not hearing what apostle is saying and she says i'm sorry sir and while you are trying to talk she says sorry let me is this, is this what i'm saying my brother it is not a cause from anybody's father's house this is personality learn learn don't get angry at and then let me tell you what the devil will do the devil will position a house help or someone that is quiet just like you want and he said can't look at look at this i've been talking to this lady for 10 minutes she's been silent this is exactly what i'm talking about and you make the wife hate the house help and say you are leaving next month in this house whereas that's the only source of helping her education the man did not understand and the man has dishonored his wife before the house help you are comparing i'm not saying the house help is bad but you are the wife but you are now comparing the wife with the house help the small girl will go back and say wow so this is how this man esteems me i can't believe it the next time she's passing she will make up you will be shocked yes sir yes sir she will make up not just because of going out like that she said ah, i used to think this is just i mean i can't believe that this man has this level of discernment over me and trouble comes to your home don't try to change anybody no man can change anybody's personality the more the word of god begins to act on you and cultivate the fruit of the spirit you see that the fruit of the spirit will begin to adjust your personality but it will not take everything away a talkative will be a talkative a quiet person will be a quiet person there are many quiet people we think it's the holy ghost that made them so no it's their personality so they make you feel guilty for talking so much they make you look like if you are really a spiritual person you should be quiet it's a lie it's a lie it's a big lie there are others who are vocal and mouthy and jumping around maybe preach yourself they can jump around and make it look like if you are not agile like that you, mm -mm, mm -mm, that's not the holy spirit let's separate between the one our personality brought in and the one that came just because you are anointed elijah was a temperous person short tempered he would have easily walked on it but he didn't choose to walk on it god still used him so while you are mentoring you are looking at his life for mentorship make sure you take away the personality so that you don't take the personality as part of what the holy spirit produces in men there are people who are not honest i can be angry with david Dam now and insult him and say it's zeal of the lord no sir it's not the zeal of the lord i have a personality problem i must be unashamed to make this know that this is not mm -mm, this is not the holy spirit it is true that the holy spirit convicted me but this uh -uh, that insult part was not the holy spirit are we together you can change mindsets but you almost may not be able to change personalities no don't try to change your spouse's personality to reflect yours 
create a system of understanding create a system of understanding i've taught again and many of us know from psychology that women respond to life emotionally and men respond to life logically we know that you cannot make a woman become another man because of this let me tell you uh, you've heard me share it i can miss david dam for one year and the day we see this is what happens david hi and we're like ah i missed you i so missed you and it's over that's it all right uh, we'll see this is one year missing that's a man for you i just hope him and remember that there's something i need to go and do quickly a lady will leave her friend in the morning and just because the friend didn't call by two by four she said haba i notice you are getting heartless these days just because of six hours gap not to talk of a man that now traveled for three days and came back and you see her being childish and playing all around you and you say what, what did i marry i'm a serious man everybody knows i'm visionary what is this jumping up and down for that's a lady for you i tell you the ladies are so blessed that i understand this and i'm letting you know yes they are